So this demo is basically a smart building. Uh, you could imagine this to be an apartment complex, a school, a hospital, or anything of that sort, where we've got multiple sensors deployed across these buildings, and they're all managed centrally by using one of our thin client products, the WISE Gateway. So not only are these sensors connected to the WISE Gateway, and uh, the gateway is not just monitoring them, but can also manage them and you know take actions based on different scenarios, right? So just to go through the overview, we've got a sensor that's connected to the HVAC. We've got a sensor that can uh, control the, uh, the elevator and actuator to control the doors. Uh, and we also have uh, sensors that can uh, uh, monitor the transparency of your windows. And then we've got sensors to control the solar panel based on the location of the sun to optimize the efficient you know, gathering of the solar rays. And uh, now the gateway, uh, since it's connected to all these sensors, is constantly monitoring all of the uh, data that's coming from these sensors, right? In addition to just monitoring, it can take action. So now the gateway is connected to one of our Dell tablets, and wirelessly we could control different things within the building. Just to show you an example, we can turn the lights on and off remotely. We could control the elevator to go to a different floor. We can open the door. And these are all just simple examples of how we could use our technology to monitor and manage different sensors within a, an actual apartment complex or a school or a hospital, right? But the real value is in cases where the gateway can not only just act as an aggregator for all the data that's coming through, but in addition can actually be an actuator to handle different scenarios. So let's simulate a scenario where there's an actual fire in this building, and what can the gateway now do? So what we're doing now is by pressing a button here, you know, we're going to simulate a fire and we can see multiple things happening just by the flick of that button. Now the gateway under understood that there was a fire in the building and took different actions. You know, for example, it turned off the HVAC, it uh, dropped the elevator to the ground floor, it uh, left the door open and it also turned the lights red and tr turned the glass transparent so that if uh, the fire, fire department comes in, you know, they now have all the information that they need, you know, with data like occupancy, who was in the building, who was outside the building, where they're located, and, you know, and they can actually see through the building now because we turned the glass transparent. And they can, they can go do their thing and, you know, save more lives than they could today with the advanced technology that we have. And in addition, if for a building administrator who's managing this building, now has a remote notification of what exactly is happening in the building, and once the situation is handled, he can also remotely normalize the building to its initial conditions. And now, you know, the next step of this is to take all of the data that's being collected at the gateway level and uh, dumping it off to an actual cloud infrastructure, which has got more compute power, and where we could use some of our analytics engine, such as Kitenga, to go some ran run some analytics on the actual data to make it meaningful and represented using Statsoft to show, hey, here's your uh, temperature pattern for a certain room for a certain amount of time. Or here's the occupancy rate of a certain room for the last six months, so on and so forth, which can then be used to efficiently manage things within the building. Thank you, Raja.